Well, hello guys, and here today at the Rusty Glove Box, what we're going to do today is we are going to make ourselves a electric mini bike. The old Chrysler square back alternator. That's supposed to be one of the easiest alternators to convert into a three-phase motor. Well, this is uh, what they call the old square back alternator, and the reason it has a square back where the diode rectifier plate is. And if you look at this pulley, it doesn't have a nut on here. And what I have is a special puller. Uh, GM power steering pumps use this. Uh, some other pumps, I think a Ford uses this. And we're there. Okay. Well, there's half of it. And that outer bearing, it still feels pretty good. That bearing still looks pretty good, so what I'm going to do is just give it a good little helping of grease. Well, here I just wanted to show you, I soldered my ends. I, I crimped on my terminals, crimped them on, and then soldered them. And I'm going to have these little insulated sleeves that I'm going to push on there. And I'll use heat, uh, heat gun to uh, make them shrink on down. What we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, each wire and we're going to tie it in to the uh, studs on the windings of the alternator and we're going to connect it to the little uh, studs on the back of the bridge rectifier. Makes it real convenient. Well, we got that cleaned up pretty good. I have my alternator field wires and I'll have to be able to put 12 volts to that. Well here we are, basically what we've got right here is a three phase electric motor right now. And uh, we're going to see just what this thing, will, what it'll do. I've got to get a little speed controller. Anyway guys, what do you think about that? All I need to do now is uh, get myself a little controller for that motor, get it wired up, and then we'll check it out and we'll see how that thing works. So anyway, I do appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.